Hey, it's Karen Bryant for MMA Heat. I'm here with Ryan Couture, who is fighting Al Iaquinta at uh, UFC 164. And I, for, thanks for l letting me here in your private space right now to talk to you. So no problem. So Ryan just got off the drip, and you're funny. You know what I love about talking to you is that you're you're so chill before a fight. You're too. I once interviewed him, and he had a, a drip from a staff infection. Do you remember? Yeah. You, you, you I was just carrying that thing around. <laughs> totally. And we did a whole interview, and you're like, yeah, cool. It's really no biggie. So. Um, <laughs> But how are you feeling in front of this fight? It's your second one in the UFC. How are you feeling? Feeling great. It's been an awesome training camp. I really like the matchup. Uh, he doesn't have the experience advantage that I was giving up in the last fight, but similar style still. So I just think it's a chance for me to go out and kind of do right what I did wrong last time and, and get the win. Well, let's talk about that. You're, you fought Ross Pearson, who, you know, the guy's been really surging lately. He, he's very good, and I think, like you just alluded to, a lot of people thought, wow, they did not give Ryan a, an easy, like, welcome to the show fight. They, they definitely threw you in there with a the lion. So what do you think you did right in that fight, though? Because things, things did work for you. Yeah, I mean, I think we had a good plan, and, and uh, I was real, well prepared and kind of knew what I needed to do to beat him. I just wasn't able to maintain it for, for the full uh, duration of the fight. I had a great first round, easily won that, I thought. Easily is not a good word for it, but you know, clearly won the first round and, and then uh, came out just feeling a little bit drained and flat in the second. I think I was nervous and tense and, and uh, just sort of, sort of emptied my gas tank in that first round and then made some mistakes in the second and Ross capitalized because he, he's an experienced, tough guy and that's what he does. Would you say that the octagon jitter thing is legit? Absolutely. Yeah. Really, and with all that, it's funny because especially with you, you would think, oh, you've been around with your dad, you would probably kind of have a, a better sense of that than others. I, I certainly talked a good game beforehand, <laughs> uh, saying that, you know, I'd yeah. been in dad's corner for a huge fight right. in Toronto with 55,000 people, so, you know, I'd walked down the, you know, walked out to the cage and right. been there with, with that energy before, but it was completely different stepping in the cage. Well, well, so with Al, what's the, what's the game plan with him? What do you think his strengths are that you can... Uh, that take advantage of. I mean, you know, his weaknesses, his strengths and what are the weaknesses you can take advantage yeah, I of. I mean, he, he's another heavy-handed guy. He's aggressive. He, he swings hard, and he's going to try and take my head off, and, and that seems to be who they like to match me up with. <laughs> um, but uh, I just need to put the fight where I'm comfortable, which is on the ground. So, you know, he's a good wrestler. That's no easy thing to do, but i got to close the distance, get in the clinch, wear him out, and take him down and choke him. You know, it was interesting today. I was doing the weigh-in show with Chael and Kenny, and I think it was Chael, or what, one of them said... You know, it's kind of a funny story with you. You know, it's almost like you shouldn't be there. You started late. You know, you know, yes. a lot of guys now when we see somebody like Mayday McDonald or you know even Rory McDonald for that matter, the McDonalds, they're both so young and yes. so successful. And you started a little bit later. But do you think that that gave you any kind of advantage coming into this a little bit older? Um, I don't know that it gave me an no. advantage. I, I maybe have a little better head on my shoulders mm -hmm. to to deal with all of the external things that come along with doing this for a living. But um, but I'm definitely kind of weird combination of old man and beginner at the same time so um you know i'm just making the most of it and, and having a good time enjoying the ride yeah so is your is it you know everybody obviously wonders how difficult it is for you to do this when your dad can't be here or is it is it better this time around now that you had to go through it once that you know not being able to have him in the corner is it a little better this time or i mean it's always going to suck i would yeah. prefer to have him there but but you know i've got both Tim and Neil this time. Last time Neil couldn't make the trip to Sweden either, so you know at least I have two thirds of what I'm familiar with and what I'm used to, and, and that's going to go a long way to help put me at ease and, and get me in the right frame of mind for the fight. So you know it's it's always going to bum me out a little bit, but but each time out that we do it, I'll get better at it and, and get more used to it and, and make the most of it. And Tim's your grappling coach, people should know. Uh, Neil's a grappling. Neil's coach. a grappling Tim's coach. A striking right? coach. <laughs> you don't want to see uh, Tim grapple. No, not so gifted. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do all your camp at, at, at home gym there at Extreme Couture? Have you gotten a, yep. you know other looks around this time? I don't think we made any field trips this time. Yeah. It was all, all done right there at home. Mm -hmm. And you know what's interesting too, there was a story that came out um, about Viacom is going to be showing support to you and running something during the Ink Master. How do you feel about that? I don't know what to think about it. That was yeah. all a surprise to me. So. You know, it is what it is. If there's any blowback, then then we'll deal with it. But you know, I'm just focused on fighting, and, and you know, that's all external. Doesn't matter at this point. Yeah, it's a, it's a tricky position for you because you know, and, um, it's not your fight. You know what I mean? You're not in the fight with with your dad and, and and with Dana, but but at the same time, you're affected by it. I keep kind of getting dragged back into yeah. it, and, and that's unfortunate. And, and I just have to figure out what I need to do to, to distance from all of that. And, and you know, I'm I'm where I want to be. I'm fighting in the UFC. That's what I want to do. And, and uh, you know, whatever I have to do to, to maintain that, first and foremost, I got to go out and win on Saturday. So, yeah. so 
after that we'll deal with whatever else. Yeah, winning is good. What do you think of Milwaukee? Have you been here before? It's beautiful. I had never been. I didn't really know what to expect. Honestly, wasn't that excited when uh, <laughs> no. when I was oh great Milwaukee, I'll go to the Midwest. Um, but we flew in. I saw the lake and, and the city is just gorgeous. It's yeah. clean and, and uh, a lot of neat buildings. And that, I was obsessed with that art museum. It's, it's one of the coolest places I've ever seen. I, no, I haven't been. Are you? But do you ride? Do you ride bikes too? Are you a Harley person? Was, oh, no, not at all. I'd kill myself on a bike. <laughs> Thank you. I think most people do. Unfortunately, that's the thing. There's a the big Harley going on. So there's there's all these bikes around and uh yeah i thought for some reason i thought that you that you have ridden motorcycles but no no that gene skipped me <laughs> <laughs> and while i have you i should ask have you heard from the set on bulgaria how's, how's things going with your dad and expendables had a couple emails back and forth yeah. and then i keep up on his facebook when he drinks and and posts pictures of his food and stuff <laughs> okay see i wonder if it's really him yeah. sometimes because sometimes i'm like wow he got real honest there is that uh, really if it's selling something or the punctuation is good that's yeah. not him okay but um but no, you can tell when it's him. it's good because there was one whole thing one time about love and like exes and this and that and i was like oh is that really is yeah, that he's, he's a pretty deep guy no no it was it was very moving it was very moving <laughs> so what's the ritual then tonight obviously you gotta you've gotta feed yourself and, and replenish yep. here and uh, my parents flew in today yeah. we're gonna go get the, the team and the family together get some food and then get an early night's sleep and Get up tomorrow and have some fun. Nice, nice. Well, you are, I believe, the second fight, right? Yep. So you're on Facebook? Yep. And um, and you're going to kick some serious butt? Yes. <laughs> awesome. In that order. Well, Ryan, thank you, and um, I, appreciate, uh, I appreciate your time, and uh, wish you the best of luck. Thank you.